Hi, my name is Cedric Romero. I am from the Philippines and I am based in Singapore. My experience so far is great. I had fun trying to make the robot deposit as the box looked like it was a different color than usual, but it wasn't. The category I'm competing in is Co-Space Rescue under 12 First Steps. The problems to be investigated were being able to move forward, avoiding the walls and the trap, collecting squares, and lastly depositing. The ultrasonic sensors are used to detect walls so the robot turns before hitting the wall. To collect squares and avoid traps, the color sensors are used so when it detects colors for the square, it would stop and blink its LED or turn away if it's trapped. For depositing, when the robot is full, it wouldn't try to collect any more squares. Lastly, it would keep moving until the color sensors detect the deposit box and stop to blink the LED. In the end, the robot was able to do everything needed to get points, not lose them, and turn away from the walls. My conclusion is that it did well by not wasting time and earning a lot of points. The challenge mission is to earn as many points as possible within 5 minutes. Yes, the challenge mission can be broken down into many tasks. The many tasks are to collect squares, avoid traps to be able to keep the squares, Avoid walls to save time and deposit when full to be able to continue collecting squares. No, the mission can't be solved if there, if there were no mini tasks, as the robot will just collect squares and not dodge the traps and walls, so it will waste time and constantly lose points. The AI area is where the robot's behavior is built using sensors and actions based on stimuli. For example, Ultrasonic sensors detect if the wall is on the right, front, or left. It will turn to the opposite side of the wall to avoid the obstruction. If the color sensors see a square on the left, it will collect it. The tools are the ultrasonic sensors that help the robot detect walls. Color sensors, when used together, determine trap position or something to collect. Loaded object is a resource that needs to be managed since losing collecting squares losing collected squares means losing time and points. The advantages are that the robot will be able to deposit when full, not collect more squares to avoid time wastage and turn away from the wall or trap when it's near one. Methods are 1. Moving forward, 2. Trap and detection, 3. Square collection, and lastly 4. Depositing. In moving, the robot moves forward until it detects a trap or wall that needs to be avoided. The robot normally moves to the opposite side of the obstruction or to the left when it's in front. When it detects a square, it will pick it up. Once it is full, it will stop collecting squares and keep moving until it finds a deposit box. Once it finds one, it will blink its LED to deposit. There is no pseudocode and flowchart used in this setup. A difficulty encountered was when the wall was directly in front of the robot. It would always hit the wall even if it's programmed to turn before hitting it. The fix was to increase the speed of the turn. A difficulty encountered was when one of the color sensors detected the trap. It would zigzag too much along the border until it reached the corner. This was possibly caused as it did not turn enough. When I reversed the turn of the wheels to avoid traps so it would not enter the trap fully, but let us use the border of the trap edges as a path closer to the deposit boxes. I tried a few different settings for keeping away from the trap. 
trying to reverse the turn, which had a lesser chance of getting trapped on the outline, but it would also have a lesser chance of getting into the deposit box. Increasing the turn would still get the robot penalized in the trap. The best one was to reverse the turn but decrease it slightly so it smoothly follows the trap edge. I would look into increasing the speed slightly so it can go to the deposit box quicker. I learned that even if we are at home, we can still learn and do coding. There are many ways to solve a problem. Some will be better than others. Practice is very important for getting good results. The most important points I wish to share with the other competitor is to do their best and that they should be positive even if they lose, as we all gain robotics experience.